hey, it's Bessie LB and I'm back again with another Trader Joe's review. Today I am doing another twofer. My twofers are in similarities and they are all about cauliflower. So, I am going to be discussing cauliflower thins. Um, as you can see, I finished them, but they're basically round, flat, little cauliflower thins. That's um, a bread substitute. And then I'm going to be discussing the cauliflower gnocchi, okay? So, let's get into the thins first. These thins came out this summer. I think maybe back in July or ending of June or something like that. And you keep them in the refrigerator and you find them in the refrigerated section of Trader Joe's, okay? They're a delicious and versatile bread substitute. 60% cauliflower. So let's see, the ingredients are shredded cauliflower, liquid eggs, grated Parmesan cheese, and deactivated yeast. And that's basically it. It comes with four discs inside of this packaging and it's basically like a dollar a disc. So there's four of them that come in here and it's about four bucks at Trader Joe's. These are so good. So let me like read you the little stuff because I love little Trader Joe's uh, little like stories and um, gems. How do you hold things together when you're avoiding gluten? Trader Joe's cauliflower thins. Their flexible texture and savory flavor makes them superb. Stand in for breads, buns, and tortillas. Layer turkey and cheese between it. Thins for super um, sandwiches. Add sauce, sausages, mozzarella. Make it a pizza. Warm up a short stack with a drizzle of maple syrup. Whatever you create, you won't miss bread with cauliflower thins. I agree with that, okay? So it's funny that they suggest those different things because I had never really read that before and I basically have done that. I've been eating these for a couple of months now. Um, I'm on a more low-carb diet just to monitor things for myself. And there's two servings, so there's four. Two servings equals two pieces for the two pieces of the rounds. And you can see in relative terms how big this bag is. So basically the size of this bag is about the size of the disc, which is pretty good. It's about the size of a regular hamburger bun in diameter. That's basically the size of one disc, okay? So for two pieces, it's 100 calories. And get this, y'all, only total carbs is three grams okay but if you're calculating net carbs that means that it's only one net gram of carbs inside of this thing because it's all just cauliflower and cheese and egg these things are so good i agree with what they're saying as far as them being savory and being um something that you can eat with something sweet i've used them for like burger buns for the salmon burgers from trader joe's the shrimp burgers from trader joe's um i've used them and made them as pizza with a little tomato sauce some cheese a little pepperoni it's like the perfect little bite size i also use them for breakfast for um wanting like jelly toast um, so you'll make eggs, bacon, cheese, and then with the watermelon spread, y'all already know that's my favorite. Take that and I toast the cauliflower, um, toast to get it a little bit, um, crunchier. Put some, some of your favorite spread on there, baby. Bomb 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 they're so versatile and they don't just crumble up right they don't just break up the way that you would think cauliflower are it really does hold and mold with the cheese and the egg it really does keep together well and it doesn't have that overwhelming cauliflower taste so i want to let y'all know that it's not like oh my god this is cauliflower so that's why it's so perfect to go with like sweet and savory things it's a perfect alternative i do wish that the price was just a little cheaper i mean i think it's pretty fair compared to a lot of other cauliflower products out there that's super expensive i just wish it was because it's like a dollar for each disc and by the time you have one sandwich or two sandwiches the pack is like gone like I eat two burgers and the whole thing is gone. So that's the like downfall, which was a little cheaper, maybe like three fifty or three dollars or something. Um, but other than that, it is a great alternative to bread. So y'all gotta try that out. Now let's discuss the cauliflower gnocchi. Um, 
Again, I've been using a lot of cauliflower alternatives, so that's why I decided to do this as a twofer, just to give you guys an idea of the different alternatives out there. This is cauliflower, cassava, flour, a little potato starch, and um, some extra virgin olive oil and sea salt. So for y'all out there that's looking for a lower carb uh, intake, this is less than the kale, I believe. And it's less than the standard gnocchi that Trader Joe's have. However, it is still a little bit higher in carb count. It does have 22 grams of carbs, but if you subtract the dietary fibers, then it's about 16 net carbs for one serving, and there's 2.5 servings in the bag. So if you know that you really want to kind of splurge out on having... Um, that really good carb for the day. I say don't have any other carbs for the day if this is what you're counting, if this even matters to you. Um, and just save this as like that nice dinner is what I would do. Um, I made these with, uh, Alfredo sauce. So I had some Alfredo sauce, some cheese, um... And then I just like sauteed this on the pan. I do want to try this in the air fryer. I heard that putting these in the air fryer definitely gives it that kind of like crisp that you see on the package in there where there's like a little bit of crisp. They are a little bit softer if you just kind of like toss them in the pan with oil. Here it says uh, cook from frozen, do not fall out, saute on a pan. And it tells you what to do to add a little water. I wouldn't add the water and put the lid over it. They suggest that, but honestly, I think the issue with that is that adding the lid allows it to steam and then allowing it to steam and then it's already frozen and then the water from the gnocchi is already like making it soft i think that that's the issue is that it came out a little bit too soft by adding a little bit too much water i think i would try the air fryer or i would try not putting the lid on and not adding water and maybe just sauteing it with some um oil but other than that, this here is definitely something that I would like to incorporate into my diet now that I'm incorporating just a little bit more um, normal carbs. I would like to have this obviously over pasta. So um, like the standard pasta. So this here is a must try. It's really tasty. If you really like gnocchi, if you're not really into like pastas and gnocchis and stuff, then this isn't for you. But this is a great alternative for people that want to have something like pasta. So you should try these two things out and let me know if you enjoy like I did.